Hey everybody, welcome to my review of the Mafex Terminator. Is it Mafex or Mafex? Um, I just got this figure uh, probably a week before la last week, I think I got it. And uh, it's my first Terminator figure. It's like my third uh, Mafex figure. I'm just going to call him Mafex. Um, yeah, I, I've been enjoying it so far. I. I'm a fan of uh, a lot of the figures that Mafex puts out. Although I do have some criticisms of them, and we'll, we'll get to that in a little bit. Let um, me just hold this uh, in the middle here. But uh, yeah, he's a great looking figure. We, much like the alien uh, xenomorph that I reviewed last video, uh, there's not a whole lot of options uh, for Terminator figures in the 6 inch scale. Um, I, I don't think, uh, I can't recall any other figures. I'm sure that there are other six inch scale figures, but I just know that, again, NECA is the main one who puts out Terminator figures. So this is a cool thing to, to have. Um, the sculpt is really good on it. So I guess we'll, we'll uh, actually, let's go over the accessories first. Uh, so I'll show you guys what we have. Because this comes with a lot of accessories. That's something I really like about uh Mafex or Mafex. So now I don't even know how to, how to, uh, let me get this to. Uh, is it gonna, oh, there it goes. It focused on it. So yeah, here is the other uh, alternate head sculpt you got. It's the battle damaged one with like, you know, his skin scraping off and everything. Uh, really cool detail. Really like it. The paint's really nice. Um, yeah, it's just a really good head sculpt. So put that over here now. And the next head sculpt, it just fell over, is the uh, one where he has the sunglasses on. I know that he has, uh, I think this is after in the movie when he like gets uh, burned. So like he's missing his eyebrows and, and whatnot. And uh, oh, there it goes. And yeah, these are really cool. Actually, just these are the gar. he's wearing the gargoyle. 80s sports sunglasses which I just got a replica pair of those because the company uh, is going out of business that makes them and they were still making the same sunglasses so I found a pair before uh, they shoot up in value but yeah it was cool I know some of the promo art shows that you can kind of see his eyes underneath um, I I know it's too blurry to see um I, I can't see his eye underneath or the any of the reflection. You can see that there is, you can kind of see that there's details underneath there of, of his eyes and everything, but I don't think the lenses are transparent enough for you to see them because every time I see something in there, it's usually my reflection because they're really uh, shiny, but I can't ever, I can't see if these are translucent or not, but uh, it would be cool if they are. That'd be a really cool detail. Um, so moving on, we just have a bunch of alternate hands. They're all kind of pliable, so you can uh, fit the other weapons in there. Got these ones, kind of open, grabby hands. I like that uh, Mafex includes those uh, holders, too. Those are really nice. Uh, more grabby kind of hands. And a fist and another trigger hand which I have uh, the other ones on there. And then for weapons, uh, this is a, a good figure to get if you want to get some weapons for your other figures. We have, uh, this looks like a Colt uh, 1911, I think, and it has a laser pointer on top. So that's really cool. And then I think this is an Uzi. I'm kind of rusty on my gun, so yeah, this looks like an Uzi. And got this one right here. I think this is another this like another Colt or a Magnum. It's definitely, I think it's a Magnum gun. I just don't, uh, I don't know who the maker is. It might be Smith and Wesson. I don't know. But yeah, really cool detail. You can even they even sculpt it in the bullets in the uh, in the chamber or in the. Uh, I think that's a chamber, but yeah, really cool. And then uh, I forgot what gun this is, um, but yeah, uh, 
they have all the details on there with the uh, how he like taped together the the magazine and everything. So trying to make sure that this is still focused. So yeah, that one looks really good. And then lastly, you have the shotgun, which I really like the shotgun. This is the ah oh, I forgot that it's an Italian gun. It was in a lot of it's been in a lot of movies, Jurassic Park and whatnot. Pretty famous gun. Um, I believe that's that's it. That this is the kind that uh that I'm referring to. But yeah. So now moving on to the figure, and bring him up here. And kind of have him have the camera refocus on him. There we go. Um, he's a really cool looking figure. I, I really like it. We'll just keep the vanilla head sculpt on there. Uh, bring him in again to kind of kind of have the camera refocus. I should have kept the camera focused on him before. So, yep, there it is. Okay, so. I, yeah, I really like this head sculpt on the vanilla head sculpt. Um, I think it looks really good. His uh, clothes are really sculpted well. I really like that. The jacket looks really good. The folds in his clothes. Um, it all looks very natural. This is kind of a, a nice in-between between something like Mezco and something like, I guess you would say another company like Marvel Legends where like they sculpt the clothes out of rubber and they're just flexible enough to to move but uh, you know they can they're not gonna look like an Amigo or something not saying that Mezco's look like Amigo but uh, yeah I just think it's a nice balance with this figure I, I really like it uh, the the articulation is hell is hidden pretty well I like that and I just think they really nailed his look from the movie. I think he looks uh, really good. So, uh, for articulation, he's got a uh, normal double jointed elbows. So, he's got a really good range of motion there. Um, his arm has like a joint kind of inside there's like two joints in the inside I took it apart earlier I can show you so like this comes apart really easy and then there's like another joint that's like on the bottom of this part right here that holds in so he's got a lot of really good uh, flexibility and range of movement there and you kind of turn out so like you can get a really good he poses really well with the the weapons um, he's got a really good ab crunch or a decent ab crunch, not. And then his head is on a ball joint, so he can he has a really good range of motion with the head. Let me take it off here. Actually, we'll switch the head out right now. We'll switch it to the more famous one with the gargoyle glasses. Turn that. Pop that on. There we go. And uh, he's got the double, or he's got the. Uh, Good range of motion on the the legs, like double jointed. Um, ankles are on a ball joint, a pivot, so they move around really well. And they, I like that Mafex includes the uh, uh, toe articulation that really helps out a lot with posing. So yeah, he's got a really good range of movement. It's not limited at all by the uh, by the jacket or anything, which is really cool. Um, and I really prefer this look uh, for the Terminator as compared to. Uh, the one I the one in Terminator Two looks awesome too, but I I re, I always really like this one from the the first movie, um, and I'll show you too how he looks uh, posing uh, a weapon. So these hands are pretty these hands are pretty uh, soft, so you don't really have to worry about uh, you just gotta work with them a little bit. There we go. And just kind of finagle up. Oh, that's right. Let's switch a hand around here. And I think that would be this one. Yes. Okay. 
We got the hands all switched out. Yeah, and I, I, I really like when figures have enough articulation to actually be able to hold their weapons properly that's a big complaint i have with a lot of figures is that they can't hold the weapons that they come with properly especially like figures that have swords or or guns or whatever this i'm really happy with the way that the articulation on this came out um my one criticism of mezco figures is that i think that they are way overpriced i this is definitely a 50 sixty dollar figure i'd be more than happy to pay that problem with a lot of mezco figures is that they they're they start at like a hundred dollars and i think that's just way too much for what you're getting here even though what you're getting is really good i think that those kind of numbers are should be saved for the hundred dollars and up should maybe be saved for something more like mezco versus uh mayfix i don't even think sh figure arts uh gets that high um, and that's like their competition so you know as far as Japanese import figures go but yeah this is uh, other than that the price point that I have a complaint about I really like this figure I think he's great I think he comes with a lot of really good accessories and I really uh, enjoy the playability with it I think that he can work uh, you know he's not he doesn't ha just have to be the Terminator he can be um, he can work in his other things too, just a random thug for Batman to fight or or whichever. And uh, let's put him back here so we can get a good view. There we go. And speaking of Batman, let's add do some size comparisons. We'll add the Mezco Sovereignite Batman. That's just my default Batman for everything. So here's the one thing too is uh, Mafex is always a little bit shorter than a lot of other six inch figures you know sh monster arts or sh figure arts is obviously um and i think figma is figma part of sh figure arts i don't know but those figures are always pretty small and i, I kind of expect that they're more in their lead their true six inch uh but you know everything else is usually 6.5 so these guys are usually pretty decent about fitting in with like maybe marvel legends mezcos are a little bulkier of the six inch figures so uh he may look a little bit short as compared to a Mezco figure. And uh, and I say that because in the comics, DC's like official thing is that Batman's supposed to be like 6'2", and Arnold is 6'2". So these two should be around the same height, but they're not. This Batman is more like, if, this were, if he's 6'2", he's probably like, I don't know, 6'3". Uh, probably you know he's not that much taller than than him like less than an inch but you know so that's uh that's just all i want to say about that like he, he is going to be a little bit small and i know a lot of people think of the terminator as like this big imposing force so and we'll put another mafex figure next to him that i really enjoy that's a mafex hush i don't see a lot of people talking about the mafex hush figure that that often um I know it came out a little bit ago, but I, I don't see very much, uh, very many people covering it or whatever. And I think it's a, it's a really good figure. That's another one that I think is just a good balance with the rubberized accessories and everything. And these two fit into scale perfectly together. Um, and he's just a really great figure. So uh, that's how he looks with these two. So let's get rid of them. And we'll do another. Mafex figure that's a little bit smaller. We have the Mafex Spider Man, and I think Spider Man is supposed to be around 5'11, so that's a pretty good uh, height difference right there. And we'll do a Marvel Legends. Kind of make sure that she's not going to fall. Marvel Legends Scarlet Witch. Which I think is a really good figure too from Marvel Legends. Um, so that's how he scales with a Marvel Legend and a, and the Mafex Spider Man. And again, um, he's a little short um, compared. I don't think that Scarlet Witch is supposed to be. She's probably around the same height as Spider Man. So this one is pretty tall. Um, if I'm, I might be wrong about that though. She might be stated to be a different height in the comics. But yeah, he is a little bit short compared to her. But again, you could always fudge it and everything. Let's get rid of her. 
Now we'll get rid of the Mafex Spider-Man. And we'll put in this guy. And he's too tall to even fit on my camera, so we'll put his head down. That's how he looks next to the Marvel Legends Hulk. Uh, that's one of the best Marvel Legend figures, I think. And this one is one I've been uh, waiting to compare him to. And that's the Mezco Xenomorph that I just reviewed. And I think that he scales really well with the Xenomorph. Uh, the Xenomorph is already pretty tall. So uh, yeah, I think this looks good. I think that these two are, that's always a good fight. You know, Alien, Predator, Terminator, Robocop, all those kind of 80s franchises fighting each other is something that I've always enjoyed. So, uh, you know, that's a fun thing to see. So, yeah, that's, uh, I think that's probably it for the size comparisons. He's a little small, as I've said, but I think he overall scale, you could fudge it enough to where it works. And I think he probably works better than, you know, the NECA seven inch uh figures uh in terms of scaling him with like the other six inch figures but yeah he's just like i said really good looking figure and i wish that uh mafex was just a little cheaper like i said i think that you know there's still a high-end figure that i'm willing to pay more money for but just i think a hundred bucks is a little steep so um I'd recommend it if you're a big Terminator fan and you're willing to fork out that money. I would recommend it, but if you think a hundred bucks is a little too much for this figure, I don't blame you. And you know, there's there's other good Terminator figures out there, but you know, again, I'm willing to pay a little bit more money for this figure. But again, I think a hundred bucks is a little too much. But you know, I'm not disappointed with what I got though because he's still a really good figure if that makes any sense you know good accessories really great articulation great sculpt um i am really happy with this and i uh yeah i look forward to displaying him with my other figures and i don't know has i don't know if mafex has made a uh a skeleton yet terminator skeleton yet so um if they haven't i will definitely pick that up because that's just an essential if you like the Terminator or any of those uh, kind of 80s franchises. So, anyways, guys, that's it for me. And uh, if you like what you see, go and hit subscribe. You can follow us on uh, Instagram and Twitter. We'll start posting it to Twitter again and get the website all updated. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Check this pimping, I'm just trying to find a piece like all of my